Hey team, Rob here, welcome to the video. She's pretty windy here in Christchurch today, so I was gonna do the intro later, but better do it now in case the lift gets shut. Today we're gonna be doing something a wee bit different, but kind of the same. Sorry Seth. Uh, we've been running an Asagai on front of the bike for quite a long time now, but uh, now that the weather's changing and the ground's getting softer, I think it's time to get the aggressor off the back, and we've gone Against the grain, we're not running DHR2 on the back today. We're going double assegai. 3C max grip, double down. So same as the front, so we're double assegai -ing. So we're gonna have our first ride on the double assegai combo today and see how it goes. So jump on board, let's get on the trail. First initial impressions on the slightly damp track are good. I uh, wouldn't have expected Astagai to feel bad because I don't know if anyone's ever said that. Now if you look at the stats on the Max's website, they are good grip, good braking, not the best rolling speed. Whereas the Aggressor being a drier nature tyre much better rolling speed but obviously not as good grip not as good braking so we'll be looking forward to that extra rear traction a wee bit greasy early in the morning in the middle of April to dry up later in the day but we'll see we're not gonna be here all day these first couple of corners are usually quite loose that felt pretty good I really don't want to push too hard on a no warm up. Last time I was here on the uh, aggressor, it's fairly similar conditions, and I was definitely struggling with confidence in the back end but so far we're feeling pretty good wet rocks and roots <laughs> when you max this and you ask the goat Greg Nuh to help you design a tyre you're uh, unlikely to end up with a bad result it's really easy to see why the answer guy is pretty universally fan favourite of uh, Max's riders all around the world oh, there's still a lot of uh, DHF guys out there I think you'd benefit from giving me a cigarette though. Know? 
just getting high around that bowl easy. Torpedoes, a nice long track, but whew, first lap full pull, that's hard work. Off this drop. Right onto the four wheel drive speed straight. Because if we get the death grip out, not really though. <laughs> Be careful down here, guys. Into the flow section. Jeremy beats me by minutes at downhill races. Because Jeremy can do that. Triple. Straight in it.
into the slope double assegai feeling amazing into the flat double assegai not amazing over the roots feels good Downhill bike always suffers along this section. team so that was the uh, first day riding double assegai assegai max grip double down front and back good stuff yeah no uh nothing to complain about the assegais aren't renowned for their rolling speed but they are top notch in grip and i can agree oodles of grip sections where the aggressors in the last couple of weeks have been just sliding out and lacking the confidence the assegai just grips and away we go so set quite a few prs today even with the trails being a wee bit slick but the grip just so much grip took 30 seconds off one segment and like 10 seconds off another one just able to push and just blast through the trail so can i recommend double assegai yes yes i can uh, it's a combo that I've started seeing more often here at the bike park and on the hills. Obviously you've got your regular Asagai DHR combo and you know DHF DHR combo. But yeah, Asagai front and back could be the future. So if you want to try it out for yourself, head down to your local Maxis stockist, pick yourself up some, try it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. So like normal guys, like if you've liked, subscribe, see you see the next one. Till next time team, ride on.